Oh, it's Anton. What the heck? Bang boo nose. So, who's our guest today, Leon? Candy? Leon. Leon the lion. We're on air, Leon. Leave your oh my. Dreamland. It's time to bring in today's guest. <clears throat> no need to. I'm already here. Why is it always when it comes to like kids shows or like innocent things? They always have like this terrifying side to it. I think Bellabog Industries is better. Nice hairstyle. You see, Bellabog's biggest advantage <laughs> is its technology. The style of this game kills me. Uh oh. <laughs> You're like a real expert. Oh, he's, uh, uh, Alejandro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alejandro Sav. Wow, Bellabox awesome. Or Suyu. It does sound superior. His range is just crazy. I thought so from the start. Is Bellabox plan really better? Hmm, that's hard to say, Roar. The pros and cons of the proposal depend on who it's for. Passengers want a brand new safe metro system, not some half-hearted refurbishment roar. Or Leon, when did you sit down with the kids? Get back to the host table. Using the old metro infrastructure may seem like a more economical and what happened to his voice? solution, but it is also more time consuming. And who knows whether Bellabug's machinery can actually work in the hollow. Roar. Roar. In my opinion, <laughs> this is just a makeshift plan to cover their financial shortage. Vision's demolition plan was better and safer. What is happening? Wow, Vision is awesome. It does sound superior. Oh, I thought so from the start. Yes, didn't they just say that? That's exactly what you said a second ago. You want to talk about safety? Vision is a corrupt company that wanted to hurt civilians to cut costs. Oh, this is the kids show. <laughs> so Vision is the villain. But is Bellabog really the hero? You don't know, do you, kid? There was a serious scandal at Bellabog a few years ago. Uh-oh, it's exposing the secrets. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, it was before your time, Anton. Relax. Oh, calm down, Mr. Anton. Don't startle the children, Roar. Enough with the act. Let's see your real face under that mask. What? what? Oh. I don't know why I didn't expect that. You're actually a lion? <laughs> Anton, I've never pretended to be something I'm not. Why you have the, why you have the mask on? Unlike oh, uh, okay, never mind. The president of an emerging construction company on the surface, but behind the scenes, they're running away with the money. <gasps> <sighs> well, that was a complete mess. So, who's running with the uh, money? Ready when you are. So, this is brand new. Or it's where we're fighting at, but now we're gonna actually be able to walk around. Yeah. Okay. We're almost there. Her president is just ahead. She may be young, but she's a real beast. So it's okay if you're nervous. Aren't you supposed to say don't be nervous? Wait, who? <laughs> oh. Oh, Grace. What Stay are you back. doing? <laughs> Strong as Anton. Oh, it's you, Anton. Diagnostics almost done. Stay like that. Don't move. Don't worry, kiddo. I'm just gonna install a firewall plugin. It won't hurt. Uh oh. Whoa. Hey. It's Ben the Bear. Phew. 
Looks like that's it. Sorry, I was late. She's like, what in the world? A real beast, huh? This is Bella Box boss? Nope. Uh, hello. Don't shake his head. Hello there, Miss Proxy. Oh my Sorry god. I had to see something like this so soon after getting here. <laughs> Our president has been waiting for you. Please. Oh, so you're not the... Uh... What are you doing, Grace? Put me oh. down! Huh. I said put me down this... Allow me to introduce our president. <laughs> I'm president of Bellabog Industries. Kaleida Bellabog! Why are his teeth so sharp? <laughs> Hello, Faithen. Sorry to have you witness the chaos just now. I hope it hasn't got you questioning our professionalism. This is what I was hoping for, man. I was hoping, you know, since we're the MC and we're like the proxy, the one that, you know, takes commissions and stuff. I was hoping that we were going to like, we were going to meet different squads and stuff like that. And it was going to be like kind of these introductions. So the goal has been met. Oh, this is the music. Yeah, it's like a, it's like, yeah, it's very hip hop oriented. Dude's screaming hey in the background. Last week, three kids went missing in a hollow. Nah, she means three robots. Easy there, Grace. It doesn't matter whether they have a soul. Because I'm the president, it is only appropriate for me to consider them as assets. How on earth did she become the president? Claire does look like a like a boss, though. She's like, I'm the boss of Bellable. Oh, what? You can go up? Oh, shoot. Here I was saying, oh, not too many places you can go. And then you go up. Here. Oh, you can talk. I've been waiting. Huh? This guy's had a complete change of personality. His installed voice was nothing like this. Grappler, your smart core may have malfunctioned. Come back with us so we can fix you. Don't treat me like a child refusing their medicine. I'm a real bro. Fearless. I'm a real bro. Did a dab. Bro. You call yourself a real bro after that sneak attack? Who's talking? The answer is simple then. Let's battle! One on one! I'm a real boy! Burn! Sick. Rocket dirty. <laughs> An opening! Is this dude really heavy machinery? He's so fast! He's trying to escape! Trying to run away? You He's talking all that scrap yeah, either. Tracking me down. Before. But I'm not going back with you. So give up now and admit defeat. I'm a real bro. And these mundane tasks you've been handing me don't appeal to me whatsoever. Wait. If it's just about your workload, we can work this out. If you keep making a scene, you'll attract ethereals. Just come back with us, heavy duty grappler Hans. Hans. Silence! Don't call me by that basic name. It's totally not my vibe. A real bro should pick his own name. It's not my vibe. Bold, like a total beast. Yes. From today on, yes. I shall be known as a dead robot. What's happening? Man, she told you. She told you. Stop! Let go of me! Gonna attract the ethereals, and what did you do? Woe is me! It looks like my brief existence has come to an end. You just said you're a real bro. Is this how far your faith in yourself goes? You. Why are you helping me? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Great dream. Uh, it's a real shame that you're giving up so quickly. And after I agreed to have a proper showdown with you, we haven't got a winner yet. Anton looks like Shadow the Hedgehog. His hairstyle. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Anton, my brother. Okay, what's going on? It might be a little weird, but this kid should be fine. Yes, brother! I've made up my mind! I'll return with you and learn how to be a real bro! I'll start by doing my day-to-day -day work! 
It's okay. We got this, bro. All right. You haven't told me your new name yet. My new name is... Man of Iron, Brave One, Sparkling Engine, Hans! Iron Man. So, you're still called Hans? Still called Hans. After all that. This was a whole lot of filler in front of it. That was a fun one too. 25! Woo! Another robot? Girl's voice. Uh, up there. So it's you! The bad guys are trying to break up me and Mr. White! Oh, it's only been a couple of days, and yet our child has become a fabulous young lady. <laughs> Just take what? it easy now, what? Grace. But who's Mr. White? Uh, another machine? It's not that rundown building it's on, is it? Don't insult Mr. White! Turns out that was Mr. White. You dare jump on Mr. White? Get your filthy hands off of him! Get away, you filth! Stop being so rude, or I'll. I'll... Oh, League of Oil. I told you not to touch him! You moldy turds just don't understand, do you? She's like a different person! She actually is. Extreme love. Wait, Miss Boring Machine. That way is Miss Boring. Uh, you just took out Mr. White. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. White. I got too excited. Goodbye. Mr. White! Still up? There, Mr. White. The impact just now. It cut through the load bearing wall. Mr. White. It's my fault. No, don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. In fact, I should congratulate you. Huh? Now wait just a now minute. Hold Grace. on a second. Let's think about what you're saying. Her face. Oh no! Grace might know everything about machinery, but she's single as hell. <laughs> she knows nothing about love. <laughs> she's single as hell. Lift up your head and look around. Mr. <laughs> White is hugging you. <gasps> Every building can only give one hug in its what lifetime. What is this chapter? <laughs> to you. And he even drove off the ethereals. What a gentle building. You have good taste. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. We won't let you say goodbye to him just like that. Here, come back with us. Let's work together to rebuild Mr. White on new Save land. the children. <laughs> I'm going back with you. The music. What in the way? What? I knew this was going to be good with, with the way it started. I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, your score. Hey. Give up, Friday. <laughs> this is the end for you. This guy's been completely silent this whole time. Maybe his language module is broken? Look at this shot. It's a legendary shot. No way. They can obviously understand us. Obviously. Okay. I know you can hear me. Let's talk. You ran away with two other machines. One was a dude who desires self-fulfillment, the other a young girl passionately in love. What about you? Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> what? Don't you have any <laughs> weird character traits? How dare you! Oh, there he goes. Huh? 
traits. Ridiculous. Mere mortals, how dare thee speak us out of turn about my most wondrous mission! I'm the enlightened sinner. I cometh to stabilize the seal and guard this place on my mentor's charge. Thou shalt hmm. leave at once! The enlightened sinner? Stabilize the seal? I just like, eh. Oh, it's a sign. delusions of grandeur this big old jacket Enough! <sighs> do you have any idea how dangerous it is to go running around in a hollow he really gives me a shadow vibe like shadow the hedgehog thou art the unreasonable ones the seal is weak and once it is broken this place shall be devastated hyper armor oh shoot I'll force my way through. He jumped. Stop right there. My mentor, I come as it does. Ben, stop him. Uh, if possible, I'd like to solve this peacefully. <laughs> the nicest bear in the world. I, I'm sorry. Kang, clang. Great job, bro. Grace, now's our chance. Grace is not gonna help on the issue. I'm here. Oh. Leave it to me. <laughs> I appreciate your imagination, my child. But let's talk about it when we get back. Sis! The seal is breaking. Don't undermine my most wondrous cause. It's just, just like, eh. <laughs> Wait! Let's talk! Stay away! Sh turns out this guy can actually talk like a normal person. She does actually give off the vibe of like being the captain. Listen to me, I'm not lying. I hear the calling from my mentor horse. I can't fail him. Who? <sighs> What's going on? Why is he mentioning that name? Who? Chorus? What did Cor do? I can't even remember. How long it's been since I heard his name. Oh, was he a past Bellabog member? Horse Bellabog. <gasps> Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Oh, no. Kaleda, look. This is what daddy told you about. Bellabog oh, first look at and Kaleda. Bellabog developed smart construction machine. This is a prototype. Oh, you're my God. When will you finish building it? Look at her. Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. I love how whenever like they show a kid in like anime or like a show, they always have the same hairpiece they had, just so the viewer can tell that that was them, <laughs> or the exact same hairstyle. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. Ah, relatable. This is like, it's just funny to think that the character always had the same style, even when they were little, but now they're a grown adult. I think she likes the bears. But don't worry. Oh, I see. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. So what happened to her eye, I wonder? You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. Wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. Hmm? Oh wait, it was already like that? You promised to play with me today. What well, happened to it? Kaleda, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute, I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. Happened so young. <laughs> Liar. Traitor. 
You tried to. What? You go back? One minute. I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. What? It's like actually taking your finger and dragging it back. One minute. I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You gotta just drag it back. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Bidding on the new project. The prototype. One minute. I'll be done wow. soon. That's cool. I didn't know that. What's up with the nail gun off screen? Yeah, it's like maybe like she played with like a tool or something and then ruin her eye. Yeah, that's cool. That's a good catch. Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? No. Uh -oh. Are you kidding me? Just come out with it. What exactly is in there? What's he on about now? Hello? Hello? Say something! Ooh. Dad? It's so late. Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone. I want to go with you. <sighs> Come on, Kalita. Stop it. Kalita. There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just At least put the money in the bag. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Yeah, that's what they all say. Just like that. He vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben, you were saying something? Poor Kaleida. He went to buy milk. The classic. Went to go to the store. Yes, the commission is completed. Miss Proxy came to collect their bamboo. Oh, shoot. That was a seamless transition. <laughs> we might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. And with that, all the commissions Bellabog assigned you have been completed. We were able nice. to get out of that tough spot, thanks to you. Thanks again for your help, Faithen. Hopefully we get a Kaleida story quest. Right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? Your face just now. There's something was that? in my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name horse, you had such a weird horse. face. Uh, oh, would you look at the time? Uh, <laughs> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee from his proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money. Oh, right. look at the time. Then, I guess we gotta get going. Don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. Besides, they helped us, and they're trustworthy. Hey, hey, we hey. don't have to avoid it. Let me know. Proxy, you saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabog's president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, took the money, went off, went off overseas. Of Bellabog was horse, horse, Bellabog. I knew it. I knew it was going to be somebody from the past. I didn't think it was going to be her dad. So. Yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts, and the old man went missing. Well, that's what happened. PubSec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the Memorial Square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, caused Horace to embezzle the public funds and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior but we're back on our feet now we're so back that's not what i'm asking i mean are you hurt walk in punch her that's what you get why did you disobey a direct order from your president you even cut communication even a hopeless tech geek like you must have limits to your madness you say it's for the benefit Hopeless of tech geek. If anything happened to you, even if we found the prototype, who's gonna do the research on it? Hold on, sweet Pete. Let me explain. Oh, I don't want to hear it. Clayda is right. Calm down, Clayda. Ooh, I don't know. 
I should have listened to what she had to say. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have made you worry. Oh. It's over now. I'm just glad you're all right. They made up. This is it. The Memorial Square Bellabog built back then. Sound reminds me of Outlast. Doo -doo -doo. That's the camera. Look! There's a big white thing over there by the monument. The slick colors. Oh, the handsome lines. <gasps> yes! That's the part Handsome I... lines? It's the first time I've heard lines be described as handsome. But why is it in that bizarre position? Hmm. I agree. It does look a bit unnatural. Like it's... Did something happen Should here? I... Said listen back up. Ben? Anton? You guys go take a look around the monument. I'll take Grace and the proxy to take a look at the cockpit. Roger that. <sighs> you two be careful in there. The prototype has been in the hollow for so long that it may have been corrupted in some places. Don't worry. The cockpit was well sealed. It's still pretty clean inside. Huh? This... This is... No mistaking it. That's a bullet hole. That's not all, Kaleida. Just look around. There are bullet holes all over the cockpit. Oh, shoot. What? What happened here? The casings all fell inside the cockpit. So the gun was fired at close range. It looks like there was a struggle here. But with how much time has passed, it's impossible to tell if anyone was shot. Someone has definitely got shot. Mm -hmm. There's a stack of notes on the center console. Wait. This is... Ben! Anton! Get over here! The proxy has found something! What is it, President? Look at this. That's a bill for the prototype. Not only does it have President Horse's signature, it has the date and amount on it, too. Mm. Yeah. The amount you is get the like same as what disappeared from the company's accounts, and it matches the time of Horse's disappearance. So that means Horse took the money to pay for the prototype manufacturing. Uh -huh. I knew a guy like Horse would never do something like running away with company funds. Horse's name can be cleared with this receipt as evidence. Uh, wait. Could it be possible Horse was the one that drove the prototype here? But why? And why did mm. he disappear? We can't be sure about anything just yet. But with all those bullet holes in the cockpit, something terrible must have happened. The old man... My dad... didn't run away of his own accord. But then he hasn't come back either. In all likelihood, he's already dead. I get it now. That phone call right before he left, it was just so weird. He was saying stuff like, you want me to pretend like nothing happened, and mm. what exactly is in there? Dad must have gotten involved in something dangerous. But what did he find? Why didn't he tell anyone before he... Don't worry, Kaleida. We'll find the answers. VA going crazy. I just checked the prototype. The external memory unit in its logic core is intact. Why didn't he tell me? It must still have records from back then. I'll start analyzing the data the moment we bring the prototype back. We'll find the truth behind Horse's disappearance. That's right, President. We'll find a way. Nathan is ready to help whenever you need it, Kaleida. Everyone. Yeah, you guys are right. As president, like this I arc. can't keep feeling sorry for myself. Okay, let's get this prototype back. Over this way. Okay. Let him Run that back. Careful. I missed Slowly it. Slowly now. That's it. Steady now, steady. No worries, I'm on it. <laughs> Job done. What was the secret? Let's go. We're all finished here. Hmm. Huh? Wait. I seem to have forgotten something very important. Right. The seal. 
my mental horse sent me a message telling me to strengthen the seal. <sighs> but what could the seal actually be? You're still talking about huh? her father? You can still oh. Oh no, is that her father? Something's moving in the monument. Oh no. Doesn't look like one, but yet ether levels are shockingly high. Oh no. <laughs> These devs love butts. With butts everywhere. Oh. Not so fast. Behave yourself. That's her father, oh, isn't it? That was a shock. Proxy, you've seen all sorts. What kind of monster is this? It doesn't look like an ethereal, but it doesn't look like a corrupted human either. Oh, no? What's wrong, Bell? What in the world? Ooh. Oh no, Hans, Friday, come in. Their signals are gone, and ether readings are still increasing. Be careful, everyone. Went green? Oh. Oh, he got he absorbed it. Absorb the machines. Oh, I hope you found the seal. Don't let that be her father. Oh man. This monster's aura. Ooh, I am not like fit before. for this. Oh man. I can't believe that was in the monument. Dad. Is this what he No, he like this it? is your dad. Get him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Sweet pea. Sweet pea. Mm. This is actually just a Oh, not again. No. She's completely covered in smoke and dust. Not again. Oh boy. This is awesome now. Oh. Ooh. Dang. I went into that. Woefully un un underprepared. Help me, Bang Boo. Help me. Help me! Dang. Still went down. Oh. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh. Damn it! This continues. We're done for. You can definitely be in a rough situation. The prototype? She controlling it? Kalea? Know how to control it. Yeah. Oop. Yeah. Don't get got. Stab him! Get him! Uh-oh. Almost! Just a little more! Full power. Nah, he's, he's got it stopped. The prototype doesn't sound good! Sweet P, don't force it. It's 
Uh -oh. <laughs> Here, Kaleda. Give it a name. She had both her eyes. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish whatever you need it to. What was the name? Can I really believe in you again? Yeah, I like this arc. Yes. Moving. Zeroy. God dang. G-Roy Lincolns. Oh, look who's corrupted now. Dang. Hurry up and get out of there. I knew the Bella Bog art wasn't going to disappoint. I knew the Bella Bog story was going to was going to steal the show. Nice. G-Roy. Like, uh -uh.